friends, we have a brand new snake. His name is Google, and he is a Western hognose snake. He's still fairly small. Ooh, look at that, he's a little sassy. These guys are from North America on the western part of our country, or continent rather. They are really, really cool snakes that spend the majority of their time underground um, burrowing, so that's why they have that little shovel on their nose. I am creating a brand new habitat for Google. You've seen some of my other builds, and I'm really excited to bring you this one. Again, it's gonna look like a forest floor, which would be his natural habitat, and I hope he really enjoys it. Oh, I know, you have a lot to say, don't you, sir? If you like the builds that I make and you enjoy this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for more builds and videos. Oh, I know, Google, let's get you back home. Stick around and see how it turns out. So you may have seen our brand new video of our reptile room makeover. I may have had to move a couple things around again. <laughs> so in order to put Google in a good spot, I basically put Phoenix where our greenhouse was and then put Google where Phoenix was. And then I moved the greenhouse to the front of the room. So I have a nice little snake corner in the back with Chip, Phoenix, and Google. All right, so like other builds that I've done, I like to make a little mock-up of what the enclosure is going to look like. So I'm starting with a blank four by two by two wood enclosure. The first thing we need to do is add our substrate in. So I know I wanna go bioactive and we're gonna go with Josh's Frog's uh, bioactive uh, desert mix. It's really great for hognose snakes. Then I wanna put in a Zen Cave since they're such a great product, they get nice and toasty, it's gonna make a really great burrow for him. So I'm gonna try to put that under the dirt a little bit so that way he has more burrowing opportunities. And really the whole concept is I want it to look like a pine forest floor. So I am going to use some fake trees, some birch branches to look like tree trunks, and I'm actually gonna use like a decal on the back panel to look like a tree line. I'm also gonna make some fun little mushrooms out of wood, and I think it's gonna come out really cool. So let's see if I can make it look like this. First thing I wanted to do during this build was to create these cool little wood mushrooms. So instead of using like paint, like acrylic or spray paint, I'm actually using food coloring and staining the mushrooms the appropriate colors. Since these little wood mushrooms don't really have much of a base, so they will most likely fall over when I put them in the enclosure, I actually drilled a bunch of screws into a wood block so that I could screw the mushrooms directly to that block that I could then bury under my substrate. To make sure that the dye doesn't bleed out when they get wet, I'm applying a Krylon Clear Spray to give it a nice protective layer. The Krylon Clear Coat is reptile safe, but you do want to use it in a well-ventilated area and make sure that it is fully dried and cured before introducing it to your reptiles. Another thing that I wanted to do was make a little bit of a custom background for the back panel of our enclosure. So I'm using my handy dandy Cricut with some black vinyl to cut out these really cool tree shapes. setup was what Google was housed in for his quarantine. So what I need to do is remove all of the items and get all that loose substrate out of there so I can start fresh. Once I had everything removed, I used a veterinary disinfectant called F10 and I let that sit on the surface for 10 minutes so that it disinfected any sort of bacteria or pathogens that might be present. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put in my bio basin, and then I'm going to adhere those cutout trees to the back panel of the enclosure. The next thing I needed to do on this build was to install my substrate. I am using Josh's Frog's Arid Bioactive Mix, 
I used six bags of it for this enclosure. I really enjoy this because it's already pre-mixed with all the components that you need for a bioactive substrate. All you have to do is spritz it down with a little water so that it sticks together and it's all set. So once I had my substrate in and it was all nice and positioned, I put in these really cool birch branches. I kind of wanted them to look like they were birch trees on a forest floor. And then put in my Zen cave and I kind of put dirt around it so that way it's kind of sunken in and he will have somewhere to burrow. And then of course my little mushrooms, I put them in and I think they just look so cute. So normally when I do a bioactive enclosure, I use leaf litter. In this case, I wanted it to look like a pine forest floor. So I'm actually using very dry pine needles. So just as a little caveat, pine and cedar can be a little harsh for reptiles um, in the sense that they don't really like the smells of the oils in those woods. Pine needles are safe as long as they are thoroughly, thoroughly dried out. I also added in some cork bark for other places for Google to hide. And then I got this really cool faux cypress tree. It didn't quite fit the enclosure, so I had to cut the top of it off, but that made me have two trees. <laughs> the last thing I needed to do was put my doors on and it is ready for Google to explore his new home. I really hope that he enjoys it and he uses all of the different areas and all the different hiding spots and he knows how to burrow into all that fun dirt. fun making this build for Google. I really do think it looks like a forest floor. I think my favorite part has got to be the mushrooms. I think they came out so super cute. Google seems to be enjoying his house. It's mimicking that natural habitat that he would come from. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the video or what your favorite part of this build is. Drop a comment below. Again, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for more builds. There's more coming up. I think Eddie the Leopard Gecko is next, so stick around for that one. There he is in his brand new house. Oh. <laughs>